Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a review on the new Vizzy Art Libertine palette. So if you're interested in my thoughts, then just keep watching. I think I've ever reviewed a Vizzy Art palette or product on my channel before, so this is pretty exciting. This isn't a very hyped up release, so I wasn't sure if I was going to film a review on it, but I figured, eh, why not? I like it. I think it's pretty. So this guy can be purchased only on Beautylish.com right now. It is a Beautylish exclusive. It is $49, and it is a new addition to their 9 pan palette series, so this is the third palette like this in the collection. And I haven't played too much with the Vizzy Art formula, however I do have the Grande Pro Volume 1 which is an all matte palette so I figured why not go ahead and explore their shadows more because I do enjoy this palette quite a lot. So packaging of this guy it comes in this really small little square golden covered case. You lift it up and it reveals a big full-size mirror and these nine beautiful shades. Now as you can see the reason why I was attracted to this palette is because I just feel like it's a really unique color selection. You do have your everyday neutrals that you could work with. There also is a lot of other colors for very unique looks. I just thought it was an interesting mix of colors and I'm, I'm super into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the swatches right now. What I noticed right away is these colors swatched so beautifully and so pigmented. They just look so beautiful on my arm and this way you can actually see how exactly unique this palette is. The only color that I was really concerned about just from swatching was this one right here because I noticed the powder didn't sink into my skin or smooth out very well. It was a little bit flaky on top of my skin which left me very concerned. I do love that this palette of course has a cream shadow and a beautiful beautiful transition shade. This is a transition shade for every look and it is the perfect color I absolutely love it. this navy also swatched very chalky and powdery but like most navies I wasn't surprised navies are a hard color to formulate and it also stained my wrist <laughs> So this palette contains five mattes, two what I would call shimmers, and two what I would call metallic colors, which I think is really important to have a range of different finishes so that you can get a really multi-dimensional look. Just by looking at this color scheme in general, as you can see, if you go this way, you have a very neutral, everyday look. If you go this way, which is more of the direction I went today, you have more of a purple look. You of course have more of a blue look and then also I really like this warm color here because you can do a really warm look with just incorporating that color into your look. These two colors together are going to be gorgeous. Now one thing I think is very interesting about these shadows, the industry right now is very into soft creamy powdery shadows that tend to have a lot of follow. These really aren't. They aren't that soft and they're not incredibly powdery which I like. I still get really good pigmentation with them. I just think it's a really nice change from the super powdery eyeshadows that everybody's loving right now. I can work with those, but I actually prefer shadows that aren't quite as softly pressed. Overall, the quality of these are really good. I did play a lot with the purples today, and purples are really hard to formulate, and I created a very beautiful, well-blended look, so kudos to you, Vizzy Art. I have played with a few other shimmery shadows from Vizzy Art, and I don't think these are the same formula. These aren't quite as soft and pigmented. This gold shade right here, I did have to work with a little bit. I think it would apply better wet or with a finger, but I did have to really build that color up. That being said, it still is really gorgeous and pretty. I'm just pointing out that I noticed it didn't apply quite as smooth as other shimmer formulas that I have tried from Viseart. Also, the shade swatching wise that I was worried about, I did apply it on top of concealer and I did have to really press it into my skin. It also applied to my eyelid just as it did on the arm, so I think this is the only dud color in the palette. I think it's really gorgeous though. I just did have to work with it and for $49 for these small little eyeshadows, I just I feel like that shouldn't happen, you know? So really quickly, I'm going to go into how I created this look. So I started off with this cream color and I just used that to set my concealer underneath my eyebrows. I then went in with the shade Debot, which is this gorgeous matte fuchsia color and I use that as my transition color. What I liked about this color is it wasn't crazy pigmented but I could build onto it so I just used a really big fluffy brush and I blended that basically everywhere all over my crease. I kind of went ham with it. Of course for some more definition I used the shade Empower which is this beautiful Merlot color. I put that in my outer corner and ran it through the crease and oh my goodness you guys 
it blended like a dream. I then put some concealer on the inner half of my eyelid to create a small cut crease and blended that with my finger. And then I went in with that shade Shant or Shant, or what is that color I worried about? And I figured if I put it on top of concealer that it would stick, but honestly, I still kind of struggled with it. But once it's on and you apply it right, it is a really gorgeous shadow and it was a nice touch to my look. I then went in with the shade Unleashed, which is that metallic gold, and I applied that right to my inner corner. I was a little bit disappointed with how this color applied just because I have had a few other Vizzy Art shadows that have applied better than that. But I mean, it wasn't bad and I really was liking the direction that this look was going in. After I put on the rest of my face makeup, I did go in with that cranberry shade and I applied that right to the center of my lower lash line just not only to try that shadow out, but also to create a little bit more warmth into the look. Love that shadow, it applied absolutely beautiful. And then I went in with the fuchsia shade again, just right over that, and then the Merlot shade right in the outer corner, and then that basically completed the look. For the most part, the application with all these shadows is very easy and very easy to work with. Really gorgeous, I really like this color scheme. I think it's very unique if you're going to bring it to travel. You can create a bunch of different looks, but you can also keep it really neutral, which is really important. I absolutely love the look I created. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I know this isn't a hyped up palette, but it's actually very, very nice. It's not the best formula of eyeshadows I've tried by any means, but I do like the idea behind the palette. And if you think this is a color scheme you can get down with, go ahead and go for it. It's a nice palette and the color scheme is very inspiring, which I think is important for a palette to be, so. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review of the Libertine palette from Vizzy Art. Let me know your thoughts on it down below, if you're interested, if you're not, if you like Vizzy Art in general, and I will catch you guys in the next video.